Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. If you decided to install the Microsoft Graph application when you installed Access, then you can insert and edit chart objects into Access reports using Microsoft Graph. Even better, if you elected to install the Advanced Wizards during your Access installation, you can then use the Chart Wizard to automatically create the charts. If you didn't install either Microsoft Graph or the Advanced Wizards, then you may want to consider reinstalling only those selected aspects into your current installation of Access if you want to create the charts in Access reports. Now in Access, you use the Chart Wizard to quickly and easily create charts that can represent data drawn from your queries or tables, and there are many different types of charts that are available by default. Charts will appear as separate reports in your database, and you can also create a chart as an inserted object in a form or report by choosing Insert Chart from the menu bar while you have the report into which you want to insert the embedded chart open in Design View. You can then click and drag over the area within the chart where you wish to display the data to create a frame for the embedded chart control, and when you release the mouse pointer, the chart wizard will then launch, assuming you have the feature installed. So, to create one, just click Reports and click New, choose Chart Wizard, and where it says choose the table or query where the object's data comes from, you would pick your table or query, and then click OK. And that in and of itself will launch the Chart Wizard and then just insert the chart into a blank report for you. So here it says what fields contain the data you want for your chart, and I'm going to add in the category name and the amount of sales for that category, which come from my query. Then I'll click Next. What type of chart would you like? And you just click on the type you'd like. Click Next. Here we can then drag the fields from the right and drop them where we would like them to appear in the chart. So here we're going to have the category name and then the sum of sales. You can click Preview Chart to get an idea of how it would look with the data that you have. You can then close it and click Next to move to the last screen where you can put in the title for your chart. It then asks, do you want to display a legend? And you can say yes or no. And then just click Finish. So here's the chart as it would look right now in my report. And charts are independent objects that contain many smaller objects that have their own properties and can be independently formatted to suit your tastes. So if we switch to Design View, Notice that when I see the chart in Design View, it doesn't display the data that's actually drawn from the query. I only see that when I'm in the preview. In Design View, to edit the chart, you can double click on the chart. And that then allows you to select the different objects within the chart. So for example, if I wanted smaller text in my legend, I could click on the legend and use the formatting toolbar to decrease the font size, for example. Also, the data that is being displayed within the chart while it's in Design View is being drawn from this data sheet, which is like a little Excel spreadsheet that contains dummy data. Now remember, this isn't the real data that we actually see. That comes from the query or report upon which the chart's based. But here you can see the three different categories, in this case an East, West, and North region, and quarters, along with some charted data. If you have more categories in your chart than there are available shown categories in the data sheet, you can add in your own and give them values. That way they become selectable and you can then format them.
So then I have the two categories which I can then click on to select and apply any formatting if I would like, which then when I preview the report I should then see. And when you're finished with the report, you can save it. And click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.